uh, hi guys in this video we are going to see uh, what are the various losses uh, in the mosfet in power mosfet and uh, how to calculate them and in addition to that how to minimize it how to select the mosfet so that in our particular application we have uh, yield the uh, least losses power loss okay yeah so let's get into the topic and uh, if you like this video click the like button guys and click the subscribe button okay so uh, the power the mosfet you may be the uh, no need to be give introduction about the uh, mosfet so it has the uh, three terminals drain source and gate right so we have to apply the gate voltage from gate to source terminal so that the current will flow from drain to source okay so we have three kind of losses the losses happening in mosfet can be uh, categorized into three sections one is conduction losses and switching losses and gate charge losses as the name here main mentioning here conduction losses happening when the mosfet is continuously conduction mode okay that means when continuously current flows from drain to source conduction losses will happen that time okay and switching losses that means when uh, as i mentioned switching loss when that means switching from on to off or off to on when turning on and turning off during that process loss will happen that's called as a switching losses and third is the gate charge loss we have to uh, apply voltage to the gate to source voltage right so uh, it's a voltage uh, control devices right so whereas in mosfet uh, whereas bjt is a current control devices we have to apply the base current whereas here we have to apply the gate voltage right so the loss happening during from uh, that phase that's called the gate charge losses let us see one by one now yes and you can see it here the below circuit a mosfet is used in a buck converter okay it's a asynchronous buck converter both here uh, mosfet is happening uh, mosfet is in a high side as well as low side switch okay so here you can see predominantly it is uh, it's a smps uh, power supply right? switching mode power supply the mosfet will be keep on uh, on and off uh, switching right keep on on and off right and uh, here the switching loss will be prominent as well as the uh, yeah next application i can show you this circuit whereas this circuit we are giving from the microcontroller the led is going to be turned on based on the uh, command from the microcontroller so here it's not a switching application it's in a continuous conduction mode application right so where exactly the mosfet is uh, actual application is going to work so based on that the uh, this out of three losses Uh, which one will dominate more we can see in that one okay so based on that you have to select the mosfet or uh, you can uh, the loss will uh, dominate either a conduction loss or switching loss okay so coming to the out of three losses coming to the first loss okay uh, conduction loss that means when mosfet is in conduction uh, conduction mode that means when it is uh, in on condition what is a loss happening there that means when it's turned on the only it act as a resistance only the minimum level resistance will be there in the uh, in the internal uh, structure of the mosfet okay and it's like a uh, p is equal to i square so that's what here it's a, I, i is the current flows from drain to source that id value drain current right in actual application what is the drain current that's current flows through it and the rds on value the on state resistance rds on is the on state drain to source resistance that's what rds on resistance okay in i can uh, we can see in one uh, uh, one of the mosfet uh, i just take it up ir from infineon i just open the data sheet i just open the data sheet here so you can see it in any uh, mosfet data sheet you can find the rds on value here in this particular uh, part number this particular mosfet the rds on value is uh, 90 milli ohms it is in the range of milli ohms range only guys so how that is the one of the reason uh, instead of uh, the uh, the mosfet on state loss would be very less okay so here instead of diode if it is a, what is the voltage across the diode means vf and if will be the right voltage across the forward voltage into forward uh, current flows through it okay whereas here i square rds on that's why compared to i uh, asynchronous uh, buck converter it has uh, less loss than the uh, synch, uh, 
yeah, non asynchronous uh, bug converter okay okay yeah instead of deviating the topic let us focus on this on losses happening in mosfet itself okay so yeah here uh, i square or ds on so here in our application maybe if you see it uh, the current flows through will be a 20 milliamps current so normal diode is a normal diode if you say it 20 milliamps into rds on value that is the conduction loss happening there okay uh, just moment here okay and uh, moving on to the next loss is a switching loss switching as previously we mentioned it's uh, switching happening from on to off or off to either mosfet uh, from the off state into on state or uh, on state into off state during that phase uh, the loss happening right so in ideal case it is a, you can see that it can be a rectangular waveform the vd will uh, just get down here and it will just start us from here whereas in uh, realistic case it's, it's ramps down it's not exactly this uh, rectangular pulses kind of waveform will not be there okay so this when it's not when it's turned off when say for example is during the phase the mosfet is uh, uh, turned off when it's turned on it will not turn on immediately it will take some time okay and same manner it's when it's turned off also it not instantaneously will turn off few seconds nanoseconds will take down to uh, turn it off right so that phase that triangle that power triangle is the loss during on uh, turn on time as well as turn off time so that's what here i'm saying the power triangle the power triangle if you see it as i'm saying the triangle that this area okay this area is the loss area if you see it was what is the triangular area is of bh right of into one that means one by two into base into height right here the base is t on or ts off right the rise time or fall time okay and the height will be this value vd into id that is the height hi right so that's what we are uh, have the formula is coming here of B, uh, h is the vds into id okay drain uh, drain to source voltage and the drain current and this is the uh, it will happen at uh, two moments right either in uh, on uh, from uh, on off to on as well as the on to off so two times at a moment it's happening so that means rise time plus fall time into number of times over a period of time that means switching uh, frequency how how frequently it's turning on and off right in a particular system say for example in this converter what is the switching frequency set for this uh, uh, this particular buck converter so switching frequency into rise time into fall time that is the base okay of bh base into height will be the vds in the id okay and here uh, uh, what is the actual current flows through the uh, drain to source terminal and the voltage across the drain to source voltage that we have to uh, uh, identify and we have to place in this formula so that we can uh, calculate the uh, switching loss okay the third one is the gate loss okay uh, see we we know there is no current flows through the gate terminal because gate is a, is completely uh, isolated right so insulated completely insulated will be that gate to this part okay but we are applying a charge the uh, a charge a qg value we are applying a charge okay to the gate terminal so that uh, it will induce the uh, uh, opposite uh, polarity in here and then it will uh, drain to current source uh, current flow, flow from drain to source okay so the gate loss will be the formula for the gate loss will be total gate charge into what is the voltage we are applying from the gate to source terminal and the switching uh, uh, frequency that means f uh, f is to be saying switching frequency so this total gate charge value will be given in the uh, any data sheet okay uh, yeah we can see it in uh, yeah you can see it here the same uh, data sheet i am just opening here you can find it out the uh, yeah total gate charge okay so 37 nano coulomb into number of switching frequency and what is the voltage we are applying okay based on that uh, the loss the gate charge loss will be determined 
and here the vgs is the what is the voltage we are applying in the actual circuit in some cases we are having a dedicated uh, line or reference voltage line either 3.3 or 5 volt we will apply here in some cases to increase the uh, switching uh, speed or the switching uh, increase uh, uh, the, to minimize the uh, rise time and fall time to increase switching uh, speed we will use the gate driver driver ic we will use it okay in those cases the driver uh, voltage applied to the driver voltage the vcc value that multi, that is the applied voltage to here right so vcc into the qg value we have to take okay this is one of the uh, trick you have to remember when we are calculating this uh, gate uh, gate power loss okay so the total mass uh, mosfet loss will be the sum of all three things that means on time loss switching loss and gate loss now when you are selecting mosfet for your application okay when you are selecting the uh, application for this one so you have to uh, which one is dominating more you can see it that means we have to see it whether your application is the uh, uh, dc to converter or a buck converter or the, it's a switching application or in just a continuous uh, connection mode is working on here so based on that the values you can choose it up so for example it's only a uh, conduction mode only is working then you can choose the uh, the mosfet which has the lowest rds on value okay and one more thing in uh, not only in infineon or uh, in xperia in any manufacturer if you see when the rds and values keep coming down the qg value will be more okay it's uh, indirectly proportional to uh, those two things and here gate loss if you want to minimize the gate loss it's directly pro it's a qg is uh, each and every mosfet it's fixed for the qg value right so the gate applied voltage that means uh, whether you are doing a hard switching or soft switching and that you can decide how, how much exactly threshold value gate threshold value whether you are only up to the threshold value you are applying the voltage that way you can minimize the gate loss as well as the minimizing switching frequency also minimize the gate loss okay uh 